Very good morning to our lecturers, especially Professor Dr. I. R. Muhammad Amin Muhammad So. Today, our group will present case studies. The topic is advances in the use of drones in precision farms. Our group members are consists of Jenny Jess as the group leaders, and then Miss Regina Ng and also Mr. Marshall Jordan Petrus. Very good morning, Professor. Yeah, so, we'll be talking about the drones. So what are drones? Drones, in a technological term, is an unmanned aircraft or a wheel-based machine. At the same time, it's essentially a robot that is remotely controlled or runs on a built-in software that uh, projects the flight plans or uh, flight routes and also it is, uh, has a working uh, GPS which is embedded inside the drone itself. Uh, there are various types of drones ranging from aerial machines to wheeled machines all the way to large caterpillar track machines. At the same time, these machines play a pivotal role in the production and efficiency of future farms to meet the needs of a growing population. So drone technology in agriculture uh, they have many uses. One is map or mapping, uh, using infrared technology for crop yield, uh, monitoring crop health, they can do spraying and such, uh, monitoring of livestock, soil mapping or deep soil scan, uh, and also land survey and terrain mapping where we need to open up new lands for production or to open up new lands for livestock uh, production. So drone technology and agriculture in a particular sense, they have one is planting from the air, Easy seeds, uh, crop spraying, uh, real time monitoring and analysis. Every information is available to the farmer in real time using the uh, wireless connections or through the internet. Uh, autonomous and robotic labor. It totally eliminates the uh, human touch in the farm where everything is controlled by just one uh, farmer and he has his own machines to run the farm. And driverless tractors. Uh, soon, there will be tractors that do not need drivers, all are automated. Uh, seeding and planting is also automated. And automatic uh, watering and irrigation. And for weeding and crop maintenance is also done. They can spray pesticides, herbicides. And also from harvesting can also be done by machines, large or small, depending on what kind of uh, pasture is being cultivated. And uh, lastly is to reduce labor and also increases the yield and efficiency of that farm. Drones, technology in precision farming. Here is a case study one. The topic is drones give data visibility to French farming cooperative from drones to tractor. Oceania Group is a French farming cooperative with 7,200 members and nearly 900 employees. Since 2015, high drone operators have been flying the groups to Arinov multi stack 4 c sensor equipped sense fly EDAG drones in order to gain valuable fertilization, fertilization data. There is the EDAG the Precision Agriculture Drum. The EBAG is the only precision farming UAV that is uh, can scout crops, analyze plant health, create precision pres prescription, and begin treatment all on the same day. How the drones were used? Oceania's drones team typically applies once or twice per season for each farmer who requests the service. The devices fly at an altitude of 150 meters above the ground and capture the images using Arinox multi-spec. Or see camera. A 
According to sense flight, the flight height and camera capabilities results in an image resolution on the ground of approximately 30 centimeters per pixel. This data is then downgraded to 1 meter per pixel for large fields in order to speed up delivery times. In terms of field coverage, the drone smart crops at a rate of around, of around 3 hectares per minute, depending on field size. The Australia cameras who have used Arinov supported drone service have recorded an average yield increase of 100, increase of 10% compared to parcel analysis using traditional non-drone methods. Here we can see the pictures of the maps that was generated from the data that they got, where um, the application map designed for automated application by precision agriculture equipment. Here is a uh, year-round programs that is, consists of four seasons where um, during springs the drone usage can um, give, we can use them as an uh, analysis of soils, tillage, tiles and drainage. Uh, where the, the task is to prepare machinery, apply fertilizer, manure, apply herbicides, and etc. During summer, we can use drones as a stand count and gap analysis, irrigation management, etc. And the task to apply herbicides, fertilizer, pesticides, and insecticides. And also during fall and winter, where um, during fall, the drones can be used as uh, tree harvest to dry down and stand consistency observations, uh, while post harvest to an analyze of soils, village, and topography. And then during winter, the drone can be used to assess of input and machinery performance. And the uh, task of machinery purchases, input purchases, and also insurance purchases or plans. This is case study number two, canola and rape seed uh, farming 2.0, cutting edge drone technology for assessing flowering uh, levels and improving yield. Uh, this case study was done by Agrimo, and Agrimo is a cloud-based software platform which uses insights extracted from drone collected imagery to, prove, to improve agricultural processes. So in these six pictures, uh, they did a thorough uh, mapping of a, a rapeseed or canola plants. So the first one is to uh, scout the area where the drone is about to fly. So these are the Agrimo drone controllers and the team. So the drone is uh, flown and it follows a specific flight path for the drone in a, in depending on the, how far the canola plants are planted and in the onboard system it produces the resulting map which has different uh, dots that indicate which uh, petals or which of the canola plants is uh, say, uh, the flowering level and from that resulting map it goes into the software the software can also control what kind of results you need, flowering, uh, the full spectrum, uh, near infrared imagery. Then we can process the data in a pie chart which states the number of percentage of flowering, um, under average and also no flowering. It, can, it is able to detect uh, the flowering levels of these canola plants. So the drone technology for rapeseed and canola farmers who want results based on facts rather than guesswork. 
So the drone technology is able to solve these kinds of headaches, uh, these kinds of problems. So which is exactly why several industry leaders have already started implementing drone solutions into pharma. And at the same time, one of them is Canada's Canola Council. In the annual report of 2016, they report on employing aerial imagery for uh, collected by drones for canola uh, performance trials. But drone technology isn't just for the big players, not meant for big companies. Sometimes even the small and mid-range uh, or mid-scale canola farmers can also obtain powerful insights just as well. And all it takes are pictures made by a local dronepreneur. As in these people who uh, entrepreneurs who use drone technology to help not just in farming but in also other fields of uh, application. And a few clicks to run these pictures through a powerful data processing software. So assessing flowering levels in rapeseed and canola by using drone technology in two different ways. Optimize pest control measures, determine the best time for harvesting and swatting. Case study 3. Organic farming meets high-tech monitoring agrobotics. In 1989, Jane Hedges, 25 hectare family farm near the Fort Collins, became one of the first Colorado first certif certified organic grower. They run a 4,000 hectares farm and 1,400 hectares of high plants. They, fa they found team up with the Colorado Technologies Incubator Inosphere and Fledgling Drone Company Agribotics. The Precision Agriculture Firm was formed in the December 2013 to explore the potentials of using drone based aerial imaging to give farmer on demand information about their crops. Agribotics. Precision farming, a picture is worth a thousand words. Fixed wing hornet drone, such just like inside the picture, which base is on the RBJ A frame from range video and fitted with consumer grade Canon S100 and GoPro cameras, modified with high quality non distorting lenses and near infrared and IR filter. The final image is processed by the drones built in software and it can be downloaded, downloaded wirelessly or using USB connection to extract the data for analyze. Future farming. The future farming. This is the future farming where everything is connected, software and internet connection. Survey drones, aerial drones survey the field mapping winds, yield and soil variation. This enable precise applications of in inputs, mapping spray, uh, peninsulas, peninsulas, wheat, black grass could increase with yield by 2 to 5 percent. Flea of agribots, a herd that specialized agribot tends to crop with weeding, fertilizing, and harvesting. Smart tractors, GPS control steering, and optimized road cleaning, reduce soil erosion, saving fuel costs by 10%, texting cow where sensor attached to livestock, allowing monitoring of animal health and well-being. They can be sent text to alert farmers when the cow goes into labor or develops infection increasing infection increasing herd survival and increasing male yield by 10% and last farming data the farm generates best for quantities of rich and varied data this is stored in the cloud data can be used as digital evidence reducing time span completing grant applications or carrying out farm inspection saving the an average farm 5,500 per farm per year. Thank you.